In this lesson, we will learn how to add a slider to a notes application and dynamically perform calculations. On your handheld or your computer software, open up a new notes application. We are going to dynamically find an expansion for a plus b to the power of n, positive integer values of n. So we're going to look at the binomial expansion. To do this, insert a new math box. So you would go menu, come down to insert, and then math box option one. Once again, the shortcut is control M. In that box, we need to put in expand. You could type in the word expand, or alternatively, we can access it from the menu key. Come down to calculations, option six. Expand is under Algebra, and we choose Expand option 3. And we are going to expand A plus B to the power of N. Press Enter, and the expression is returned. We now need to insert a slider to calculate different expansion values for different values of N. So remove this math box by pressing delete key. We come down to menu. We're going to come down to option three, which is insert. And we're gonna insert a slider, which is option five. Our variable is n, that is our power. Tab, our current value, we're gonna start with a value of one. Our minimum value, we need positive integer values, so let's start with a value of one, press tab, let's go up to say a maximum value of six. Now, our step size, it is best to choose enter value because we want to go up in increments of one, positive integer values in increments of one. Coming down, the style of our slider will be horizontal. And we're going to check the minimized box so that we have small buttons rather than a continuous sliding scale. Press OK. And your slider is inserted. The current value is n equals 1. And it has expanded that binomial for an n value of 1. As you press your slider button, you will see the expansion unfold dynamically before you. One thing you may notice is that the coefficients in that expansion should be the numbers from Pascal's triangle. Now the beauty of this is that you can now come up and edit your original expression. So let's say we wanted a negative sign there instead, press enter and it will dynamically update that expansion for you. Let's say we wanted to expand x take one to the power of n, for N5, we get the expansion. That is all for this lesson. Be sure to check out the other lessons in this series.